Hi guys, I am so excited that you joined me for a story today. It is Miss Catrone and today we're going to be reading one of my absolute favorite stories. It's called The Day the Crayons Quit. If you are in 2A, you've definitely heard this story because like I said, it's one of my favorites. So I said that the title was The Day the Crayons Quit and title is just another word for the name of the story. Now the author of this story is Drew Daywalt. Author is the name of someone who writes the words or writes the story. The illustrator's name is Oliver Jeffers. Illustrator is the name of the person that draws the pictures or creates um, any drawings that are in the book. Alrighty, let's get started. So the first picture clue I see is a stack of letters it looks like and they are addressed to Duncan. It's gonna make me think that Duncan is one of the characters in our story. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his grants and found a stack of letters with his name on them. I guess that was the letters that we saw. All right, here we have our first letter. Oh, and a nice picture to go with it. I see a fire truck, I see Santa, and a bunch of red hearts. Interesting. Let's see what this first letter has to say. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. <sighs> I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Seems like Red Crayon is a little tired. He does have to color a lot. I can kind of see his point. All those fire engines, Santa, all the hearts, the apples. There are a lot of things that's red. That is a pretty good color though. I can see why Duncan uses it. Ooh, another letter. Let's see what this one says. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard's hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside of the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Okay. Turn to somebody next to you and tell them what Purple Crayon is so upset about. I'll let you look at the pictures while you tell them. Yeah, Purple Crayon is very neat and they're very upset that Duncan is coloring outside of the lines. Alrighty, here we have our next crayon and the letter that they're going to write. Oh, if I look at the picture clue, it seems like Brown Crayon is really sad. I wonder why he's so sad. Let's find out. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies. Well, the only thing I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. Oh. Yeah, beige only gets to color wheat. That is kind of sad. Okay, so the next one we have, oh, wowza. That is quite the picture. I believe I see maybe an elephant's trunk here. Maybe this is a picture of an elephant. All right, let's see what Gray Crayon has to say to Duncan. Duncan, Gray Crayon here, you're killing me. I know you love elephants and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And you don't even get me started on rhinos hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things? Such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know? 
and so are tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Gray Crayon. Yikes, that is a lot of color for one crayon. I like that he offered Duncan a solution and he said that he could color baby penguins or pebbles. You know, he does want to color. He just maybe doesn't want to color big elephants. I like that he was a problem solver. All right. Okay, so here we have, I don't know. Oh, I think it's white crayon. I like that he used black paper so we could see his letter to Duncan. All right, let's see what white crayon has to say. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are using me on, white. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill an empty space between other things. But it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, white crayon. Oh gosh, I feel so sad for white crayon. But we know that we do need white crayon, even if Duncan, even if he feels like Duncan doesn't use him as much, we know we need that. We use a lot of things to color with white crayon. All right, next we have, if I look at my picture clue, I see black crayon. I see some kids playing at the beach. I've never seen a black rainbow before, but let's see what his ideas are. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of that ball with all of the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, black crayon. All right, he is very angry, obviously, because he wants to be used to color rainbows and beach balls, I would like a black beach ball. I think that's a good idea sometimes. All right, next up, it looks from my picture clue that we have green crayon. Here he is. And we have some trees, alligators, crocodiles, and a big old dinosaur. Let's see what green crayon has to say. Maybe he's happy with Duncan. Dear Duncan, as green crayon, I'm writing you for two reasons. One, to say I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problem and wish to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends yellow crayon and orange crayon who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, green crayon. All right, well, I'm loving that Green Crayon is happy with what he's doing because I would say that Duncan's doing a fabulous job. On the other hand, his friends are in a fight. They both believe that they are the color of the sun. Turn to somebody next to you. What do you think the color of the sun should be? Yellow or orange? Hmm, I think that they're both probably good colors. Maybe I would go with yellow, but let's see their arguments. First up, we have Yellow Crayon. Oh, but there's orange crayon too. So let's find out to see whose letter this is. I'm going to guess that it's yellow crayons, but we'll find out. Dear Duncan, yellow crayon here. I need you to tell orange crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him myself, but we are no longer speaking and I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your happy farm coloring book, in case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. All right, he definitely thinks he's the color of the sun and he has a picture to back it up. There he is, shining bright. Hmm, maybe the sun needs both colors. I hope that that's a good solution. Dear Duncan, hmm. I see that Yellow Crayon already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. 
we both know that I am clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday, you used me to color the sun on both Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your day at the zoo. <laughs> Coloring book. Orange glad I'm here. <laughs> You're pale and the real color of the sun, orange crayon. All right. He provided two examples of where he is the color of the sun. If you chose orange, maybe you're right. Okay, next up, we have blue crayon. He has a nice letter. He has a beautiful picture. I see an ocean, clouds, rain, a boat. Ooh, this is pretty. All right, let's see what blue crayon has to say. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is, is that I'm so, so short and stubby. I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. You are a very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Oh my gosh, let's look at him down here. He is so stubby because he's been used so much. Maybe he does deserve a break. Alrighty, next up we have, well, if I look at my picture clue, looks like pink crayon. I love the color pink. I'm excited to see what pink crayon has to say. Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. You have used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster? Or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Ooh, pink just wants to be used. I think a pink dinosaur looks beautiful. Pink cowboy is not bad either. Pink Crayon has some good ideas, I think. All right, okay, there we have Peach Crayon. He's still in the crayon box. I wonder why. Let's find out. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes, help. Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Uh-oh. Not good. I hope Duncan gets him some new wrapping paper. After all, he did peel it off. Okay, our next picture shows all of the letters laid out. Hmm, guess he's done reading. Let's see. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. I think that Duncan really shows the character strength of creativity because obviously he loves to color and be creative. We have a girl in our class named Kamaya and she is so creative and she loves to color. Actually, a lot of kids in 2A love to color. All right, this was his idea. Wow, look at that beautiful picture. Ooh, I see a black rainbow and a purple dragon. I see a lot of good things here. He used beige to color in some bears. He took a lot of ideas. Ooh, and baby penguins over here. Tell a neighbor next to you or write down something else that you spy in this picture. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring and an A plus for creativity. The end. All right, I definitely think that Duncan showed a lot of creativity, which is an awesome character strength to have. Before we wrap up this story, I want you to turn and tell somebody next to you or write it down, and you can write in our Google Classroom, what is another character strength that you think that Duncan showed? I can't wait to hear from you soon. It was so great to read you that story. Thank you for listening, and have a wonderful day, guys.